Hi everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to If You Want Me In Your Life, I Shouldn't Have To Fight For A Spot. And this brush shouldn't have to fight for a spot, guys, because it is an outstanding brush. The brush that we are looking at today is the Iwata Eclipse and it's the HP BCS on a 0.5 mil and this is a bottom feed airbrush. Now, if you've never tried a bottom feed and you're used to top cup airbrushes like that, or the side feed, if you're thinking of another brush for your collection, opt for a bottom feed, guys. You won't look back, you really won't. Now, the reason why I say this is, these are the quickest brushes for interchanging your paints. They will change paints quicker than a side cup and a top cup. If you've got a lot of these bottles that you can get, you can get the smaller one and you can get the bigger one. These are the actual high water ones and these are really old now they last now you can get say 10 of these bottles you can drop all your colors in and you can just pop the bottle to the bottom be using black one minute pull the actual bottle off clip the next one in like that blast through and you've got your color straight away these are really quick guys now the people that you usually see using these when it comes to airbrushes are the guys that do the t-shirts, if you've ever been to some like market stalls and you see an airbrush you're doing live painting on t-shirts, you usually see them with one of these brushes in the hand because they are really quick at interchanging colours and getting the paint down as this is a 0.5 mil. Another good place for this brush is doing wall art. I know a few artists that use these when they're doing big wall pieces. Again, for quick changing of paint, comfortable brush because you can hold it with both hands. You can sturdy yourself holding the bottle. You can see full view down the front. You've not got a cup on the top or to the side in your view so you can see all your artwork where you're painting. So it is a great robust brush. I've owned this brush now well over 10 years. And at the time when I got this, I paid £109 for this brush. These have gone up over the years. I think these are about 150 So if you're looking at the £150 price mark at a brush that in front of you now is over 10 years old and still works, it's a no-brainer in cost, guys, because you can see there that this they last. I've had no issues with this brush whatsoever. I've not changed any parts, internal parts, needles, nozzles, or nothing. This brush is as I got it out of the box. It's exactly the same. So what I do is we'll go over to the easel and I'll show you how good this brush is at changing colors and dropping a bit of paint down. See you in a minute. Right guys, we are all set up. I've got some paint. We've got a red solvent and I've got a black solvent and I'll show you how you can interchange them quite quick. Now the beauty of these brushes, you've got a nice clean area around the top of the brush. So when you're looking down the brush, you haven't got a cup to the top that's in your line of sight or one at the side. This one sits at the bottom so you can hold on to the jar that you've got clipped in. I've took the crown cap off for this demo. So we'll just drop some paint down. We'll do some dots, the good old dots. Now you're getting sort of that sort of size which is full back on the trigger. So it's getting good coverage down, nice atomization. This might start pulling through a bit of dirt in the actual paint cup because I didn't clean it out that well when I put the actual paint in. But down on lines guys, this brush will get you some good detail for a 0.5. And it's just so nice to use. It really is a comfortable brush. I've not picked this up for quite a while. When I do usually use this brush, I'm using it for putting things like etch primer down. I've used it for clear coat, thinned out clear coat but just make sure your brush is nice and clean. I've gave this a little blast through, it's been sitting on the shelf. But as I say, these pots, I've got a bit of dirty paint on. They really want it soaking in cleaner. 
but it's absolutely fine for the demo. And the good thing about this brush is you can have it sitting on the side and just pick it up, blast it through with some cleaner and it just works. And this is over 10 years old and it still drops the paint down like it did when I got it. It really does. So that's the red. Now to change your colours, you can just take the jar off the bottom, blast through, clip your next colour on, blast through, and then you're good for your next colour, like that. Straight into the black. And this is why I say it's good for the guys that do the t-shirts, because they can just clip the colours in really quick and they're on to the next colour. And when you're doing t-shirts, they're usually like bright, vibrant colours. But this will get some coverage down, guys. It will drop the paint down, which is nice. So if you're doing big areas, if you've got like portraits and you want to get some backgrounds down, they're brilliant, they really are, because you can just get it down. And the, the atomization on these is incredible. It really is. Great, robust brush. And this thing, as you can see, it will put your hairlines down. Not a problem. It'll do some great detail. And it's just great that you can hold that part of the brush as well. It just sturdies your movement up. Especially if you're doing lines like that. You can get some super nice straight lines because you've got two hands on the brush which just gives you that more sturdy movement so that's all i can say really guys it's a brilliant brush they last they're great to have in your collection they really are i guarantee you will pick it up and you will use it and you'll just like the feel of it the minute you start painting with one of these you'll just get to grips with it straight away. So that's the Iwata Eclipse, the HP BCS on the 0.5 bottom feed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, click that subscribe, press that notification, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.